I've got a couple of old pallets as you can see behind me there so I'm just going to break them up with a pallet breaker and see what sort of timber we've got. So that's the timber from one pallet there, it's pretty rough stuff but it'll do for, for what I need it for and I think that's probably enough, just one pallet. It's obviously still full of nails so the next job will just be to get the nails out. Right, I'm just marking out for the front of the box, you can see the shape I've drawn there. Uh, the distance here is 20 centimetres each side and then to the middle of the peak is 35 and I'm just using three boards together. So the distance across there with the three of them is 22 centimetres. So I'm going to cut that out and then I'm going to do exactly the same uh, for the back so then I'll have the front and the back. That's the front and the back cut now. Uh, I'll just measure along here and along here and I'll cut some pieces for the bottom and the sides now. I'm just going to attach these pieces with a nail gun. Um, I suppose I could use a hammer and nails but it's it's just as easy to use it well it's easier to use a nail gun and it'll it'll do a neater job as well. So first of all I'll attach the side pieces. Now I've got the side pieces on, I can just put the bottom piece in position, flip the whole lot over and nail the bottom piece on. I'll just use this as a chock at the front just to hold the middle piece up until it's attached. Now I've got a frame of sorts, I'm just going to put another piece in the middle there and another piece across the top and that'll just separate the, there's going to be a one compartment there one there and one there. So that's everything sectioned off and I've put nails in you know from the back through into all the, the different pieces so it's pretty solid. So the next job will just be to put the front on in the same way. And once I'm happy it's lined up I'll just put nails put nails through again. And to make sure my nails go in the right place into this board, I'll just score it across here, just so I've got something to aim at with the nail gun. Right, next job's going to be to put the holes in for the birds to enter through. I've marked three holes, one, two and three. Uh, these ones are about six inches up from the bottom, and then this one here is up. It's just a couple of inches from the top there. And I'm going to use a 32mm hole saw to drill the holes. I think that should be about the right size for sparrows and anything smaller. I'm actually planning on attaching this to a fence post. So the way I'm going to get the fixing point in is I'm going to screw through this back panel um, just behind the behind this hole at the top so that I can, you know, once it's all built and the roof's on I can access the screw to attach it through this hole. So that's the fixing screw in place which I can tighten up using my impact driver just through the hole at the top with an extension on it. The next job is going to be to put the roof on so I'm going to measure this distance here. I want an overlap of maybe a couple of centimetres so it'll just be that distance plus say two centimetres and then I'll 
cut some lats to put on. I've cut out three lats for each side and I'm going to start at the top and then the bottom one will overlap a bit. When I line it up at the top I'm going to line it up exactly with the top of the um, the point on the roof and then afterwards I'm going to cut cut across this edge once it's all attached um, just to create a, a straight edge for a capping piece. So I'll get these nailed on now. And I'm not too concerned about how straight these end up, it just kind of adds to the rustic effect really if they're a bit, a bit lopsided. So that's one side on, I'll just do the same on the other side now. I've decided that in order to get the topping piece on, I'm going to flatten this off, so I'm going to take off these two ridges, so I'm just going to run a handsaw along, you can see I've just started there just to give a flat edge on the top. So I've taken the edge off the top there. Uh, there was probably an easy way of doing it. It probably could have been done before I attached these pieces on, but yeah, I'm not too sure. Let me know if you think there's an easy way of easier way of getting the angle right um, for this top piece that's now going to go on. So this is just going to be nailed on from the top. That's the main box finished now. Uh, I just need to put some perches on and I think I'm going to use some doweling to do that. I suppose I could, you know, I could use some nails or something that came, you know, that I took out the pallets, but I think I'm going to use doweling. I just happen to have this this little piece of doweling left over from another job. It's 14 mil diameter, so I'm just going to cut it into three and put one under each uh, entrance point. So that's it, finished. I'm just going to take it outside now and scorch it with the blowtorch. This is just a plumber's blowtorch that I'm using. 